for an adult audience. Love, love line may contain sexually oriented content. Mm, listener discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, Dixon Medicine Specialist. The All-American Rejects are here. Hey! Tonight. How you doing? What is happening? We're going to... Uh, we're board certified too. We're going to uh, bring them through and uh, do our uh, little rotation. Nick and Chris are uh, starting out. Mike and Tyson. Mike and Tyson <laughs> are coming in Mike here. Mike Tyson. So, are coming in here uh, just next. Uh, in the uh, 11 o'clock hour, I should say... The uh, the guys were reminding me that the uh, first time they were on the show was the night that uh, Jimmy Kimmel premiered. Huh. Indeed. The show premiered on uh, January 26th, so it must have been Super Bowl evening. Yes? What yeah. you said. Yeah. yeah. I don't watch soccer. <clears throat> I'll tell you, I got the, uh, and I listened to the uh, All-American Rejects uh, CD quite a bit in my car uh, after you guys uh, left and really, uh -huh. really did enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, it's still going strong, and we're going to hear a couple of songs uh, off that. One in the, this hour, one in the next hour. I hope we hear Swing Swing. I, I know it's uh, probably been played out or something. That was so last j January. I know, but I, you know, I, really, I really do like that song. Let's right, we'll just play it. We'll play it in the 11 right, o'clock right. hour. Thank you. Yeah. No, I really, really do. Uh, so it's a power pop rock something. I don't know. It's a good song. <laughs> good times. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, let's see. What else we got to talk to you guys about? CD is uh, creeping toward uh, platinum. Yes, Drew? One platinum. million is platinum? Is that right? I don't I know. I think it's a bajillion. It's bling, a bajillion bling. platinum? Yeah. yeah. All right. So you guys are nowhere near platinum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Oklahoma. What's yeah. going on there? I haven't Not been lot. there since... Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Freaking Fourth of July, man! <laughs> I like the way he covers the mic. Like, I don't care of it. That'll do it. <laughs> the, yeah, the F made it through, but uh, the U and the rest of the letters uh, couldn't make it through your fingers. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. Looked like you would hold the F word in the mic. It wouldn't go out into the world. All right, look, here's the point. I like to see effort. Yeah. You know Enthusiasm. what I'm saying? Enthusiasm. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice like when you see the first baseman and boots the ball that goes through his legs. I like to see him stand up and look at his mitt and then look around and then punch <laughs> his mitt and then look at his mitt again. You know, I, yeah, the takes. We want the takes. The other guy I'd like to see, I really kind of like to see the guy just did zero. <laughs> like, you know, ball goes through his legs. He just stands there as if it was the middle of the game and nothing was going on. And maybe and we, you would question if he even knew it. I wonder if you'd get praise for that or you'd get abused. Get abused. You would? Yeah. yeah. All right. By you, Drew? And I think most people. All right. <laughs> so uh, heading out on a European uh, tour where you can use the uh, F word all you want over there because they're uh, evolved and progressive. <laughs> and, uh, Smelly. And you've been to Europe, right? A couple times. Yeah? A couple times. Were, yeah. you, were you looking forward to going back? No. Uh, it's yeah. okay. It's yeah, okay. Bands aren't huge. Well, because they don't see anything. They go from just theater to theater. Yeah, you don't uh, see anything. It's, this, it's the same the only... Cities. Right. Well, you don't understand what people are telling you. Exactly. And, yeah. and the food, not good? Italy had really good food. It was mainly France. It was... Not well, good th food this tour we're doing is all UK, so it's like... Well, that'll be good. In yeah. terms of language, anyway. Right. Bad food. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You can find, you can find some yeah. decent over there. You can still there. find Starbucks and Mickey D's. Yeah, so you're in great shape. <laughs> That's all you need. I, I pack Mickey D's when I travel out of the country <laughs> myself. It doesn't hold up real good in the overhead, but... Uh, but under, under the cargo hull, it's fine. Fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah it's cold down there. Yeah. All right, so uh, <laughs> European tour, CD, here's something. Everything's good, right? Blah, blah, et cetera. All right, let's go to the phone, see what Thanks. we got here. Paulina? Hi. Hey. hey. You're 17. Hello. What's up? What's going on? Right. Oh, I have a problem. You guys have to help me. All right. All right. Do you guys want to hear the whole story or the sure. five-minute summary? Whole story. The whole story. Okay. So I like this guy for like four years, and finally we go out, and we have sex and everything, you know, and then he turns out to be a total jerk, and now he won't stop being a jerk to me. But I love Can, him now. Uh, mm -hmm. How old is he? He's 17. Can you be a little more specific about what he's doing to be a jerk? Well, um... He breaks his plans with me. He he lies to me. He's cheated on me twice uh -oh. with fourteen year olds. Ooh. So I gotta go around town ba beating up babies, basically, just to be able to sure. Find. You gotta kick ass. It's their I fault. Do. Lose face. I regulate. 
No, but it's that, true. You got to. It's it's like those crime movies where the boss says, "Look, I don't want to do it, but if people find out that I'm not breaking legs when people don't pay back bets, they're not going to pay. They're back. not going to pay back." And it's the same with a 17 year old. You, you know, powder puff. You got to stop a little 13, 14 year old ass once in a while. My sister did the same thing. And you know what? She was on the losing end of a couple stiletto heels as well. But no that's kidding. life, and it made her better mom. It really did. <laughs> I really believe it did. <laughs> Paulina? Paulina, yeah. let get rid of this guy. It's done. What? Get rid of him. What? What am I what am I supposed to do? I don't want to break up with him and I don't you, you know, I don't want to You need to break up with him. Well you don't wait a minute. You, you want he him to broke be, up with you, really. I mean he's just having he's just, sex with he's you. He's just right? being an ass. Yes, that's what he's doing. And look you you're in love with who <laughs> wait you a minute, want to be. It's a bogus call. <laughs> you're in love with who you wish he no, was. No, it's not. I swear to God, it's not a bogus call. I know you, you're not in love with this guy. You're, you're in love with who you want him to be. But who, who he is know, is an idiot. But I know what he can be, and I know oh, that you know eventually he'll get there. But God, I just wish he didn't torture me in the meanwhile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we cut his nuts off <laughs> and, and inject him with enough estrogen, maybe, eventually maybe. he could be half the guy you're thinking of. <laughs> sure. Really, just the same guy with a little less energy. Right. All right, <laughs> Paulina. Yeah, I'm yeah, Wait, we're you telling you, you what to do. do. You said it five times. You don't have a choice, though. He's not your boyfriend. He's just using you. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, I, yes. then I, I cheated on him with a girl, and he got really mad. Yeah, <laughs> now he doesn't even want to. Why'd you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I'm just saying that that's why he acts you, like that. Because are you supposed to be on some medication? Anymore. Are you taking medication or are you supposed to be on medication? I'm supposed to be, but I don't take it. Good girl. Uh, Depakote or what are you supposed to be taking? Lithium? No. Paxil, but that doesn't even make it. That doesn't even do anything. Can we please just concentrate on this, guys, please? Yeah. Well, we are concentrating. We're telling you to dump this guy. We're, I should really just dump him. Yes, really. But I, I can't. I can't. Uh, really I already have. And then he, then he gets all nice and then he'll go back out. Oh, hey, Paulina. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so h how long have you been uh, hanging out with this guy, having sex with him? For a year. One year. And uh, mm. and are you going to see him this weekend? No, God, no. I was supposed to, but it's Halloween, so I get ditched for a bunch of prepubescent whores. Wow. A nice. little energy, huh? I'll tell you, you know, you, big word. You, could, you, could, <laughs> you, could, you could be a stand-up one day. You ever think about doing that? No. Except when they yeah. just no. shine nice. the light on her, the spotlight would go right through her. She's translucent. Oh, really? Oh, you're yeah. saying white trash? Uh. No. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. She's not white trash. Oh, come on. Paulina? Yeah? I'll try to figure out if you're white trash. I'm from South America. You guys are rude. You don't sound South See American. See that? What's your dad do for a living? He's a mechanic. Uh-oh. Huh. White trash. No. Let me explain something. You do not have to be white to be white trash. That's right. Oh, you can be born sorry. in South America. You just move to Utah when you're three and a half, and your dad becomes a mechanic. And you, I moved you're, when I was you're, ten. You're ten. What we do is we kiss you into the white trash. You're not a legacy. You know, I'm a legacy. Oh. Grandfather. From, grandfather in. Oh, we'll man. Bring, yeah, we'll bring you into yeah. our fraternity. Right. It's not like you have a long lineage of white trash. You're, you're new white trash. You're nouveau trash -o. <laughs> Nouveau Whito, Nouveau Blanco Trasho, we call it. Oh, oh gracias. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, no. How did you go yeah. from South America to Utah? That's what I want to know. Huh? How did you end up in Utah? How did that Same happen? Place. I don't know. My parents wanted to live somewhere where uh, they were more family-oriented, I guess. But they're awesome. divorced, they so I don't know. Yeah, things must be going along swimmingly for them. Well, South America. <laughs> just judging how Paulina's doing. South America is a family place. It's just they're all living under the same roof and they're all effing each other, but they're they're tight. You know what yeah. I mean, right? right? Yeah, but okay, I baby. Don't know. Listen, let me tell you how we do things here in the United States. Okay, that would we don't. Be yeah, we don't stock fourteen-year-olds and stomp them out. We don't. Yes, uh, we do. And, and, and by the way, this is a uh, this is a uh, Latin America thing that uh, chicks have. I love it, which is their boyfriend cheats and they go after the women. No, no, no. See, I went after yeah. him too, and I, we broke up and all that. We go after him for five now. minutes. We do focus on the women. This is a trait <laughs> I like, by the way. This is one of those Latin culture things yeah. where the chicks go. They go. They go. Stay out of this. They tell the guy to stay out of it. Then the chicks go at it. And it's like the guy just pulls his penis out. It's like, okay, the winner, whoever wins, gets this. I've seen it. I've seen it on the TV shows, Drew. Oh, I, oh really? Yeah. What I'm saying is, your wife wouldn't do this. No. She no. beat the crap out of you. She'd stab you. Right. 
She she might beat the crap out of the chick too, but she definitely focused only the, the front the of her energy sort of went, on you. Went, yeah, went through me. It go and, through you yeah, and into the into and, the girl yeah. was behind you. So much the better. All right, I uh, take your medication. That's what we do in this country. We take medication. We wait to die. You don't go all this uh, zesty, feisty, <laughs> spicy crap, right? You watch your uh, TiVo. You take your meds and you just relax. Soon the Grim Reaper visits you, and it's then it's quiet time. <laughs> After that, right, Drew? Quiet time. That's quiet time. <laughs> <laughs> you get a, you get a timeout. You get a uh, eternal timeout. Madison. Yeah. You have a question for the band? Yeah. Hey. Um, hey. Before I ask, you guys are awesome in Indianapolis. It's totally worth the six-hour drive. Um, oh no way! Six <laughs> hours from yeah. where? Um, Pittsburgh. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, you're welcome. Um, thanks for touring, I guess. Um, have they open have they open that tunnel yet between your airport and your city? <laughs> what? It's open. What? They no, they there. closed it. They closed it going one direction oh, for like a went? year, and then oh, the other went? direction another year. The tunnel. Oh, forget I forget. Oh, Drew, try, try. Don't talk to people about indigenous landmarks in their area. <laughs> they never even know what you're talking about. Oh, yes. How dare I? The only way in and out of the city. Yeah, there's a, I, there's a huge like uh, Allegheny Mountain or something, and then they drilled oh. right through it and they put a tunnel all the way through it, and it goes to the airport. Oh yeah, there is that. Okay. Is it open? Now? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right. It is. All right. Yeah. Just checking. Okay. Okay. Um. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when you guys think your new CD is going to come out. Like, because I heard a song, you played a new song on the tour, and it was really good. And I oh, was thanks. When you were gonna, well, like, oh, okay, here's the deal. So we got to go to the UK, like they said, and then we got to go to Japan. Okay. And uh, then we got to take some time off and write some songs. So, uh, new CD next summer, hopefully. Yeah. You know, the air, airplanes are good for writing. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. You can write some stuff on the airplane. You really get some work done. You got to think about that. I don't know about musicians, though. They, don't they have to hear their music? Mm, they get one of those. Uh, those remember thing, Dr. Little, little, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's a stethoscope that you plug into your guitar. It's crazy. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're blowing my mind. You fly, That's heavy. You fly first class? <laughs> All right, now you got no room there. <laughs> we got economy, you know. It's Maybe, even business. We business fly L class. That's what it says on our ticket. That stands for luxury. Oh, luxury. <laughs> Gene? I mean, uh, Jean-Pierre? Hey, guys. How you doing tonight? What's happening? You're 22? I'm sorry? You're 22 years old. Do you have a, a Germany or Florida for us? I do have uh, a couple of good Germany or uh, Florida stories. All right, hold on a second. Hold on. Let me explain. Hold on. Uh, we decided uh, over at... Uh, Jimmy Kimmel Live at the writer's table that uh, all evil emanates from either Germany or Florida, or at least all bizarre stories about people, you know, <laughs> effing their cats and teaching their dogs to Heil Hitler and that kind of stuff. <laughs> so uh, we try to guess when we hear the uh, wacky news story, whether it's from Germany or Florida, and I think we're uh, above 90%. You're way, you're crazy. Thank yeah. you, buddy. Thank you. Germany yeah. or Florida. Yeah, this is the <laughs> That's a thing. Yeah, we're going to have pros cover it. Maybe you guys could take the, my Germany or Florida song out on tour with you. I don't know, man. All right, Jean-Pierre, let's go. Okay. Um, I tried to edit out most of the stuff that would give it away. Uh, basically, a woman fell through the floor of a trailer and was mauled <laughs> by two pit bulls. Mauled and what? Death, mauled by pit bulls. Mauled by two pit bulls. Seems like a, seems like a Florida. That seems like a Florida. Seems like a Florida layup to me, but almost too Floridian, you know? <laughs> I mean, too German, Florida -like. German. Trailers? Trailers are there. The fresh ones that are decrepit. Yeah, they, no, oh, those yeah. are all made out of uh, polished stainless steel. And with, with bulls wandering around underneath them. Yeah. You know, you know, it's funny. The uh, the sh sound was put right as you said pit bull, and it made it sound like a different kind of dog. Nice. Yeah. Did you hear that, Anderson? Yeah, I got uh -huh. it. Yeah. I'd like to hear that just because uh, it might sound funny. Actually, I cut it before you even said it. Oh, you cut it? Well, Nick was doing a shh, and... Uh, Drew was doing a pit, pit, pit and uh, putting the sh pit with the bowl. pit. It, uh, sh pit really, really I thought Drew was good. talking about a new kind of dog I'd never heard of. Sh pit? No. <laughs> but there's the uh, Shih Tzu, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which we can say all we want, right? Sh pit Tzu. Sh shih Tzu, Shih Tzu, Shih Tzu. Huh? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go. What do we you guys think? Germany, Germany or Florida? 
He didn't sound German. That sounded total Florida to me. All right, three, like three Florida. out of Florida. It sounds too Florida. I, I'm going with I you. I don't know, you, man. You, that's... you get it right every time. All right, we're going Florida. Let's just say this story yeah. comes out of Florida. Wow, I wish I could say you guys are right. It's out of Germany, though. Oh. Mm. No pit. <laughs> All right, what was your other one? <laughs> um, I've got, well, this is actually a video that my sister took. Uh, she showed it to me when she got back off of vacation, um, which was a man. He was actually hang gliding. And he tried to avoid a building, ended up in the power lines, and electrocuted himself. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that could be done anywhere. We need a story. Yeah. That could happen in uh, any state, oh, okay. in any city, well, in any country. Here, here's a definite story. Um, there was uh, somebody had stolen an ATM out of a um, gas station. The entire and ATM? The whole, whole ATM. That's uh. Florida. <laughs> you have to have a pickup truck to do that. Well, what, Florida, what happened? What happened? But here, here's the, here's the best part of the story. The turns out there was a, a wife and husband couldn't get the uh, ATM open, so they took it to a blacksmith to have it open. Well, the blacksmith happened to be behind the police headquarters. Yeah, that's Florida. Florida, Florida. Florida. blacksmith. Yeah. Florida. Yeah, was he shooing definitely. horses? All what the hell's? <laughs> Put it up on definitely the anvil Florida. and. <laughs> all right, that's Florida, right? You got it. Yeah. yeah, thank you, uh, Jean Pierre. The, the the first one was almost too Florida. We should have yeah. been suspicious. Yeah, you were right as usual. Well, you I don't know if I'm right anybody. about being wrong, mm-hmm. but just too Florida. Second one was uh, was hey, was slam dunk. Slam dunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, what are we gonna do? Want to hear a song? Sure. We'll take a call. Let's do it. What Let's hear a want? song. Let's do that. Chris, you cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anderson, you ready to rock? I'm good. What do we got here from the uh, All American Rejects. This one's called. My paper heart. That's the All American Reject. Good Nick nice. and Chris are here uh, in the studio right now. Tyson Mike gonna come in here later on at eleven o'clock hour. All American Rejects, name of the CD. Guys are going to uh, Europe, but uh, doesn't mean you can't uh, buy the CD and keep just a little part of them back in the United States. Drew, relax <laughs> over there, buddy. All right, we're going to take ourselves a break. When we come back, who are we going to talk to, Drew? I thought we'd talk to uh, Joseph here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not a very enticing tease. Done X two times a week for the last eight months. That'll do it. Yeah. yeah. It's just, no. 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 Let's. What you about talk about that, Chris? Over yeah. there. It's a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Drugs are bad. Trust me. How yeah. about this one? Billy. Uh, Billy. Oh, Billy. Uh, wife has no libido, must beg for sex. <laughs> Once a day, each day, wants to know what the uh, solution is. It's Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oklahoma yeah, guy. wow. Yeah. Big team on there, yeah. 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 All right. The experience we'll, uh, of every I Oklahoma. I can't wait. Guy. We'll take a uh, quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew, the All-American Rejects. Nick and Chris both here from the band. That's Hi. also the name of the CD. We'll do a little uh, Tyson and Mike uh, round robin here in uh, the 11 o'clock hour. Uh, boy, let's see. Who's coming on here? Jack Black. Ah, forget it. Oh, Jack Black, yeah. The Ataris are coming yeah. in here, uh, too, next week. All right, Drew. Yeah. You ready to go? Let's go. Where are we going to talk to Billy? Oklahoma. Billy from Oklahoma. Yes. Yeah. Billy. Hey. From Oklahoma. It's the only place, by the way, from which people would uh, an- announce themselves as Billy. What'd you say? Why? You mean it'd be Bill uh, or William adult. somewhere yeah, else? Yeah, 24-year-old. Yeah. Bill. Arkansas, Excuse Texas, me? Texas, yeah. Texas, Texas. Also, I guess. Hang so. on. Uh, it's Billy. All right. Yeah, it is. So how you guys doing tonight? Good. Good. Uh, yeah, but uh, my problem that I called about... Is uh, basically my wife has like no sex drive. I mean none. Uh, if she didn't really before we got married, it just prolongedly gotten worse. Um, uh, so she she never did have any. Not really. I mean, she went through college. Uh, she only had sex with one person before me, mm-hmm. and uh, that was when she just first got into college. That's basically the loser virginity. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> did you have you had a child or anything since? Uh, we did. Uh, she was born in eight, uh, but she oh. died in April. I'm sorry. Uh, oh boy! What happened? Uh, diaphragmatic hernia. Uh, oh, so she died soon after delivery? Uh, no. Uh, she went on the ECMO machine and everything. Which you is an like corporeal uh, oxygen machine. Uh, yeah, and uh. You mean like the incubator thing? No, no. It's What's a, this? A, do? Like a a lung outside of the body. Basically. Oh. Diaphragmatic hernia means all of her guts were up in her chest. Oh. Oh. One lung grew. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
How yeah. old was she when she died? Uh, 30 days old. Oh, boy. Now that's... That's that going to put a dent in the sex life, too. Yeah, that'll yeah. make your wife pretty depressed. And uh, Well, I put that in an account for it, you know. But, uh, I mean, it's... Yeah. Check that one off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you check that, that off. Well, well, no, I mean, you got to... you got to of guys, huh? You, you got to do that. You got to go, you know, it's, uh, breaking a nail, <laughs> you know, check. Uh, <laughs> Losing a kid. Scratching, <laughs> scratching an SUV. Kid, yeah, kid loss, child loss. Scratch. Uh, double check. Check, check, yeah. That's yeah. a two-checker. It's a two-checker. That should keep her out of commission for a few hours. Has she got any help or treatment with, with what's happened? Uh, no, it's kind of embarrassing. She doesn't want to sign up into a doctor, you know. Uh, whoa, whoa, but no, no. I, you're so focused on the sex. <laughs> we we meant uh, for the loss of the child. Oh, uh, no, she's in the military. Oh, so all right. They had a she... counseling or something like that if we wanted to go to it. Uh, you know, except we, we, thought we, we thought we were doing pretty good, you know, coping with it. That sure. we didn't know, you know, need anybody else involved. Sure. Yeah, you, you you need a little help and guidance here. You do. Well, Billy sounds pretty resilient. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I mean, we we had a decent sex life before. It wasn't all that great, but you know, with with a child loss, you know, sure. things you know it did slump downhill a little bit. Yeah. And, sure. Uh, but you know, she's never been the one to the aggressor at no, all. We got that. All we right. That. All right. Well. Um, and I'm more than you know. You're ready to go. You make up oh, for yeah. both. Well, now, what do you, uh, what do you, what do you guys what are you looking for? for? Yeah, what do you, th what would you like? Uh, you know, eagerness, participation. I guess. No, no, no. I understand. Yeah. I don't think. And by the way, I'm not, I'm not sure that you can ever change somebody's attitude. It's like yeah. you can get your kid to eat broccoli flour. You can never get him to sit up and yell, "Oh boy, yeah. we're having broccoli flour." And the best <laughs> you're going to do is to get the kid to put it in his mouth and chew it, right? You, you're basically right, but I do believe that. With therapy and things, people do change their relation to intimacy. You know, they they should they can show some but enthusiasm. But they never. Eh, she's never going to jump not, on maybe it. Maybe not the way well, he. Yeah, the not the way, way he fantasizes it. What's that, Billy? Her, her mother's the same way. You've been effing her or trying no, to get it, her pants. You know, she brought up. You know. Oh, her she brought her mom up. The same way. Or yeah. her mom is. I think everyone would like to believe that about their <laughs> parents. Yeah. It's not like, oh yeah, my mom, whore, whore, whore. <laughs> she can't get enough of the dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> can't get enough. Dad used to give it to her every night and balls deep. Balls deep. But still, not enough. Back door, whatever. She's well, good to go. Sometimes she complains that it hurts. Like uh, mm -hmm. the lower belly button just to the side or something like that. Or, you know. Well, look. Uh, look. Was she ever abused in any way? No, not like no? that. She grew up not in a like real that. normal household. More than yeah. normal than mine. Is she on don't, any medication? Uh, yeah. And don't take any offense uh, to this, but what's she doing in the military if everything was so good growing up? Her parents are military, her brother's military, everybody in her family's military. All right. That's a good enough answer. I'll buy that. She's never c could escape the base. Like she hasn't gotten out. <laughs> well, here's the deal. She's not going to get better if you, uh, you know, it's not going to get significantly better anyway if you guys don't reach out and ask for some help. And the fact that you've called us suggests that you really are wanting some help from somebody. Yeah. No way we can solve a problem this complex and just, a, you know, contact on the radio. Yeah. But let me just say that... Sometimes going on the birth control pill can improve libido. Mm -hmm. Certainly tr treating her depression will be very important. And if it's with medication, make sure these medications that don't further suppress her libido. There are only a couple medications that uh, are good that way. Serazone, Remeron, Wellbutrin, Geodon yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. she, I think, needs a little therapy. And you do kind of need a little help with this, too. You, you guys have gone through a very traumatic experience and just sort of well, dismissed it. As she not. has. Yeah, I'm not sure what Billy's going through. <laughs> Billy's Billy's going, Billy feels like he's going through whatever a Labrador would go through <laughs> if he found his his, yeah. his master dead. You know yeah, what I mean? He, he circle he might, around a couple times. They find the dog howling a little bit, but uh, yeah, next day he's still he's chasing that frisbee. You know what I mean? He'll yeah. put it behind him. Yeah. All right. So be it. Life goes on. It's for the living, you know. Life is for the living. I, I've never argued with that. No. It is for the living. It's not, it's not for the... It's uh, a hard one to... Yeah. Deny. Yeah, really. It's hard not to nod your head when someone does the, uh, well, life's for the living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Let's talk to uh, Joseph. Joseph? Hey, what's going on, you guys? You're 23? Um, yeah, um, I've been uh, doing XT for about eight months, like for every weekend. And I was wondering what the long-term effects could be. Mm -hmm. Severe memory problems, mood disturbance, panic, and anxiety. Yeah. You'll think you hear dogs. 
<laughs> I guess we're all here right now. <laughs> no, we don't hear any talks. But Joseph, you, you, you're <laughs> with what you've been doing. You are going to have some problems. I guarantee it. It may be a few years before they sort of manifest. But you uh -huh. will. Have you noticed your memory not quite as good as it used to be? Yeah, but that's from the weed, though. Yeah, it could yeah. be. Well, who it could cares be, what it's from, by the way? The ecstasy, though. Well, it is somewhat relevant in that the weed's reversible. The ecstasy is not. It's like, and oh, then, it's like per permanently. Permanent, yeah. And then there's mood problems that follow on the heels of that, where you start getting panic attacks, not wanting to go outside and get real. Could that be play. another reason why I, I can't nut too? Because when I have sex with my lady, you know, I can I never think, nut. Yeah, no, I think it, it, again, if I really want, <laughs> if, if I really want to. <laughs> If I really want to motivate a male to change their behavior, go right not. to the schwanz. Yeah, it's probably the pot more than the ecstasy. Okay. Trust me, okay. I used to do a lot of X, and he's right. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the problem not. with the, X and acid, yeah. The problem with the nut or the problem with the memory? The problem with the memory and anxiety. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. It's you, tough. You can't remember to nut. It's a, real, it's a real typical <laughs> syndrome. Well, I think it could be the same. My memory, uh, you know, I kind of float off, so I forget to nut, you know. It'd be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hmm. That is bad time. <laughs> yeah. I Plus, can see Adam with his drawers down watching <laughs> porn. Well, forgetting. Here's, here's the real tragedy. I'm thinking what's what's you know, what's for lunch, you know? <laughs> you you nut and you 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 don't know you did it and you walk around with a handful of nut. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like when you have your keys. You never know, looking for your keys sometimes and they're in your hand. Mm -hmm. It's that way except for replace the keys with the jizz. Mm -hmm. And you just walk around the house and you're looking under the car seat, the you're door all over sticky. the place. And all of a sudden somebody says something, you do that thing where you you smack your forehead like oh, oh man, I forgot. Oh, and pow, there it goes. There you get it pink goes. Eye. Yeah, then you know. <laughs> yep. You give yourself <laughs> pink eye and hepatitis. It's true. Off, yeah. Never happened to you, Drew? No? Uh, I, I can't remember, you see. Never forgot, you nutted. <laughs> All right. Jim? Oh, uh, hi. You're 16? Yeah. You have a Florida or Germany for us? Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I had a better one, but the uh, screener said I couldn't say because I didn't know the website, but here he goes. Um, oh, really? Oh. Your Florida. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and we're doing some facts checking too. Like you got to make sure you got to be able to back it up with something, a resource. Uh, All I, right, I go it, ahead. I found it on the website, but I didn't remember I switched one. But here goes the uh, the one that should let me say. Um, All right. Two young, two minors went uh, before a judge. They were 14 and 15, and they were uh, before a judge for stealing uh, their 25th car in two years. Mm -hmm. After the boys were released. From the courthouse, they realized that they didn't have enough money to pay for the bus, so stole they stole the their car. 26 car, and then they crashed it into a fence an hour later. Hmm. That sounds like Florida. Everything sounds yeah. like, everything bad sounds like Florida. I don't know, if I steal a car, it's like a German car. Germans are not that sociopathic, are they? Well, They're here's the, here's the <laughs> thing. I, I kind of feel like, I don't know why, but I kind of feel like after the 15th car, the German guys would be in, in the joint, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but then uh, I, I'm, whatever you say, I'm going with it. I'm I, what do you guys you. think? I think it would be harder to to break into an Audi or BMW than You're a right. Chevy. Ooh, that's you right. Know? That's a good, good point. point. Good point. So. But if you were from Germany, you would be smarter than where you than if you were you from be Florida. Wouldn't be ignorant enough then, to steal another car, though. You think? All right, we're going Florida. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Indeed, we're batting like a. We're, I mean, we're at about ninety six percent. If you have would not let the sort of peanut gallery, including myself, influence you, you'd be at a hundred percent. I feel that way in life, by <laughs> yeah, the way. Well, I know if that, I would just you, not. You, if by I could, the way, you, you tell everybody that too. If I could <laughs> tune everybody completely out of my life, I would be batting a thousand. Oh, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Interesting. What'd you say? <laughs> Jim, not listening. Oh, wait a minute! I nutted. <laughs> I almost forgot. Anyone we'll go to rag? We got a question for the band. <laughs> Dan? Yeah, hey. You're What's 17? up, Dan? Not much. I got a question for the All American Rejects there. Go for it. Um, man. What's, uh, what's your guys' connection with uh, Butch Walker? I saw you guys on his website in a picture with him. Are you guys, uh, is he going to do any producing with you guys or do any uh, music with you guys or anything? He, that, guy, that guy's amazing. Yeah. He uh he came and hang out with us in uh in Atlanta and uh he's got a great new record coming out next year by the way. But oh, yeah, uh yeah. we're we're really good friends. He's a good guy. He's probably gonna be playing a few shows with us in December. But yeah. uh yeah. Well how do you figure out who produces your next 
CD. Does the does the label tell you? Do you have any? Do you get to go pick them? Do they care if you pick someone they like? Then they say fine. Is there a price? How does that work? Well, we want to use the same guy because I mean it's that whole like I don't know. We want the growth to be on our part, you know, more than you know an outside influence. You right. know what I mean? Right. But uh, I don't know. We're gonna use Tim O'Hare again. That's our plan. So. Okay. Same and, guy. and and you can't argue with the uh, results of the last CD. Or the current CD, right. so uh, the label's cool with that, right? Indeed. All right, Dan. Yep. What's happening, buddy? Hey, uh, so you, you guys uh, still have that hot weather down there in uh, California? No, just no, the, today it, it just broke. It went away. In fact, f- spectacular day. I, I felt euphoric all day long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been, and I also realized how it wasn't just this heat wave. We we've had summer for five months or something, <laughs> maybe seven. It's been crazy. I got in my car. And uh, what I was doing when it was uh, 95, 100 degrees everywhere is I've become obsessed with the thermometer in the car yeah, now, yeah. the digital readout. And I drive all around the town, and I'm like, I'm up on the freeway. It's 103. It's 103. <laughs> For a while, like, had, I, we were calling each other and announcing the temperatures. Remember that? Yeah, like, about every day. Times, yeah. Yeah, about every day. Drew. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I got in my car tonight and started heading down the hill. It said 59 degrees. I, I broke down. Start crying. Bro- oh, no, geez. the car broke. Oh, the car broke. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ironically, are overheated. No, no, I, I really, I had to almost wipe the tear away. Like yeah. I, I felt like uh, tears like, of joy, though. Yeah. yeah, like I felt like I, like, you know, the prisoner of war guys who've yeah, been yeah. in like the Hanoi oh, Hilton yeah. oh, my God. for two years, <laughs> and they finally get off the yes. plane and they hit the tarmac yeah. on American oh, yeah. soil, and they're just like they start breaking down. Yes, that was me. Uh, yeah, I, I, I felt it. Not that I want to compare what I went through this summer with uh, Vietnam veterans who were held in captivity in Vietnam. But I think my plight was worse. I, I do. And and that's me. And I stand by that. I really do. Because <laughs> it never cools off in Vietnam, you know. It just stays hot. Yeah, it, it's very consistent. <laughs> You're not waiting for something There's to no break. There's no seasons. Here we had the anticipation. Well, we were teased. Even. We, te- we got teased. Yeah. Right. Whereas in Vietnam, it's, 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 it's bombing over you know, there. You know it's not coming. It's not coming. Yeah, yeah they had it easy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But you know what? We're bigger men than they are because of this experience. Yeah, yeah. That which does not destroy me. <laughs> that's right. Makes you stronger. That's right. Unless you have some joint damage. <laughs> and then I think that slows you down a little. Yes, or, sir. Or lose a limb. Or, or you lose or, a limb. Or an eye. Or All right. All American rejects uh, here tonight. We'll take a... Uh, but life is for the living, yes? For the living. All right. Can't argue with that. We'll be uh, right back after this. Love line, I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew, the All American Rejects. Hey, how you doing? Are here tonight. Nick and Chris, uh, both here for the band. We're gonna hear something uh, else from the CD, and then we'll bring in uh, Tyson and Mike from the band. We'll do a little uh, swap out at the top of the hour. So let's really make these last 15 minutes count together. All right. All right. Baby. All right. If we hold our breath, <laughs> it'll seem like it's like like two hours, <laughs> maybe longer. Yeah. 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 You know, I was watching tonight on TV. You ever see that? Uh, it's, it's, it's a weird sport that uh, free diving, they call it. It's crazy. The they have the records. No, no. The uh, This is underwater diving. It goes deep as they can go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you with, guys know with, about uh, this? Without tanks and stuff. No tanks. you got to hold your breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go down. And they just have a uh, cable that goes basically to the ocean floor. And uh, you hang on to this weighted sled essentially and just ride that cable straight down into the uh, abyss uh-huh. and uh the record is like uh almost 600 feet wow which is uh exquisitely deep and you have to go fast too you have to be dropping you got to go pretty fast. you got to go pretty minutes good are you holding your breath for they hold their they hold their breath like minutes, uh, somewhere yeah. about three minutes yeah. two and a half three wow. three and a half but if you really think about it like if you go out in the ocean you get out about 30 40 feet of water and look down at the ground I look down at the ocean floor. You oh, go, that's, wow, that's pretty deep. A thirty foot dive. Yeah, is, you got to, you got to know what you're doing. Yeah, if somebody said, go down and touch the and, bottom. We're in about nineteen feet of water. It's like uh, it takes a little something to do. And you, you, you feel it in your ears too, big time. Oh, listen, big I, time. I can't touch the drain in my grandparents' swimming pool <laughs> without my ear, you know, popping out and clutching yeah, one and ear. That's a plastic pool too. Yeah, it's it's above ground. <laughs> it's actually on the roof of the house. It's, it's that you get the pine deck though. It's nice. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five hundred. Uh, the record is, uh, I don't know, five seventy five. I'm getting a shorter breath. You know, five seventy five. Right. Imagine I mean, that. you don't know how goddamn deep that looks. By the way, and, at five seventy. I mean, 
Five seven. It, I just all people yeah. don't realize the the pressure effects of the water. Yeah, there's a thousand different things that can yeah. screw you up. Sixty story building, you're going down. Uh, Sixty God. stories. Uh, here, hold your breath. Take a big one right before you go on. <laughs> yeah. Now here's the thing that's weird about it, and I've always wondered. How come these guys don't get the bends when come they back. come up? Yeah. Why don't you get the bends with this well, rapid, they're not, they're rapid not, ascent? They're not taking in pressurized air. That's yeah. why you're the doctor. That's right. they <laughs> don't, out of if you do this with a tank, you got to stop every 50 feet or so. You get bubbles in your blood. Yeah. But if it's on the same breath you took when you were uh, on the boat, but, it, but believe me, though, the, the, your lungs can bear, I mean, it's all compressed. I mean, the oh, yeah, you got, you got like 18 times whatever pressure you're feeling oh, outside. Oh, my God. That's kind of a hairy sport. I, I, Chicks win it. it all the time, too. Wow. Well, that's, they that's have a higher system. tolerance for yes, pain. For lots of things. They can hold their breath. That's one thing they can do. Hmm. It's from being kids. You know, <laughs> so and, they and must utilize oxygen. They're definitely. like, I'm going to hold my breath until we go to Disneyland. <laughs> I'm going to hold my breath until I go ice skating. They, they must utilize oxygen differently. Well, the brains don't use that. They don't have brains. Ah, That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. They don't burn as much. Yeah. They just do a lot of seething. Right, right. No brain. <laughs> brain burns a lot of oxygen. Or storage, maybe. You yeah, know, for yeah. More oxygen. No, ladies don't have it. <laughs> Rachel? Yeah. They have a hippocampus. They seem not to be able to forget anything you've done that pisses they them off. They have a chip that yeah. doesn't let them to forget. <laughs> right. It's a, just a hippocampus. <laughs> that's the part of the brain that's memory. They have the, yeah, so they have the part that works for memory, yeah. but not the part that works for reason. creating or reason or... or Motor skills or anything like that for driving anything. Just 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 the memory chip. <laughs> just the S vault, I call it. What's up, Rachel? Um, like two weeks ago, I was giving my boyfriend a head, and my jaw just locked, and I couldn't move it for like a long time. It's another o- o- Oklahoma. Hot. Oklahoma. Some tetanus. Did you go to the emergency room? <laughs> <laughs> no, I finally yeah. shut it, and it popped really loud. Yeah, oh. you know this happens. More often than you might think, and literally, I'm gonna have to show you guys what we do. We people get their mouth stuck open. The the this hinge joint at the corners of your ear basically c- slides out and gets stuck, and it can't go back. You can't oh, really? to push it back. You have to you come from behind, come from behind, and show you. No oh, crap. <laughs> you, 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 you have to sedate somebody and come from behind. Them sedate and them. They yeah. Push on their jaw and. Stretch it, stretch it down, and then, and then pop, pop it back, back into the joint. It unhinges like a snake or something. Uh, yeah. It just eating a mouse, man. Here, sure. That's yeah. cool. But you know, <laughs> it's a compliment. Now, not, I, I must admit, at all the times in the emergency room, people were not uh, performing oral. Well, they weren't. No, they weren't. They like, weren't admitting they, it. They weren't coming. Yes, they weren't coming forward. See how this sli- <laughs> slides underneath here. Yeah, they're all eating. They're all eating uh, big sticks. Under. Uh, all right, so uh, Rachel, mm-hmm. sticks open. What's happening? You okay now? Well, it keeps popping and everything, but... You're going to be prone to this again, and you're going to uh, be prone to temporal mandibular TMJ syndrome. TMJ, yeah. But you get a lot of pain in your head, headaches and that kind of thing. You want to, you want to talk to your dentist. Your dentist doctor, gives you a mouthpiece. Yeah, you should you bite should do splint. It. Yeah, you should do that. You had okay. your wisdom teeth pulled? Uh, our, no, our, our, Tyson, time. our singer, had a bad TMJ, and he got his wisdom teeth pulled and helped out a lot. Interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, Rachel. Mm-hmm. You have a dentist? Yes or no. I don't I'll really go to down. one. I've been one a long time. And then it kind of goes up All right, here. True. Stop pointing at pictures and talking <laughs> to people. <laughs> you, you Rachel, you, you got to go to the dentist. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Bye. All right. That's, what what do you want us to do? Fix they have from dentist. Oklahoma, too? Yeah. That's amazing. No way. Do you have yeah. to travel outside That's Oklahoma, or do they have dentists there now? You got them. Sometimes you got to get Pony Express. You know, you got to get on your covered wagon and ride the dirt road <laughs> they call out this, of Oklahoma. They call us Oki Jaw. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> True. Look, first off, you I have no you, sense Nick. of humor, so don't screw with people. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Oki Jaw. Fa- are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we going? Shut up. Nicole? <laughs> Where's, no, uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth? All right. Is she from Oklahoma? She's from Fresno. All right. Same thing. Hey, uh, Elizabeth. Yeah, hi. What's up? Um, actually, I heard one of my friends told me that if you're having sex on a regular basis and then you stop, that your face will break out. Your face will break out? Yeah, like they said it's something like hormones. From hormone changes. Yeah. Was the, the friend was the friend that told you this a guy that you were having sex with regularly? No, it was <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> that's amazing. I got a smart use guy. That. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, and you'll get uh, you'll get brain cancer. That's the one I use. <laughs> you you'll die. Don't just don't stop. Yeah, no, there there's no evidence of anything like that, Elizabeth. 
Nothing people, like that. Pe- no. Well, it people have speculated. Have to do with your hormones or anything. Yeah, it does yeah. have to do with hormone testosterone levels, and well, sex can raise testosterone. Maybe levels. it's just if you stop having sex, you get off the pill or something, mm. and that changes something. Or you get stressed, or you pick at yourself. Who knows? No, I'm just saying that the, the thing may come from the fact that people may get off the pill. And I mean, this may have been where this got started. It came, no, it came. Why not? It, it, certain cultures believe this about males. Well, when young when I, adolescent I males get get well, that's not through the pill. No, males, but I'm th- I, this. But she's not talking about a male here. Right, but the, the point is, you weren't where the history of this came from. Now, I, I know where it comes from. I know everything, all jacking off goes your skin, and everything goes to your skin, but I'm just saying, <laughs> so nothing does. This, this person oh, who I was see. talking to Elizabeth right, right. may, may when, when a girl's on the pill for a yeah. while and then gets off the pill, yeah, it can change. her face will break out That's sometimes. True. That is very true. All right, thank you. Sperm can cause you know, clog pores, too. It can. Sam gets on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sam has a real thing or something like <laughs> On my back, right? Lower back. And and, and I show people, I'm like, you see that? And they're like, what's, you mean there? And I go, no, that's a cigar burn. (laughs) Ashtray got moving too fast. They go, you mean there? And I go, no, no, that's just a ring. That's a moisture ring. You should have used a coaster. And I go, there, there, in between. There. Yeah. Right, Drew? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All-American uh, Rejects uh, in studio tonight. Here's something off the uh, new CD and just a couple of few. Tyson and uh, Mike are going to uh, come in here and do a little uh, round robin. That doesn't mean we can't hang out during the commercial, though, guys. All right. All right. <laughs> well, actually, it kind of does. Oh, it's, yeah. real. It's, it's been real. Yeah. But it's all right. <laughs> you guys don't have to leave. just have to get out Watch yeah, the room over there. yeah go in there yeah. and pretty much keep the door closed alright All right, so we'll not be talking again right, we'll be uh, we'll be right back with the real all American <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. no we'll, we'll be back with uh, basically the sloppy seconds yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah the B team the B Bye. team the JV squad's gonna be in here <laughs> after this Love line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. We got the uh, the good half of the All American Rejects uh, <laughs> Damn in right. here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Tyson and uh, Mike are both in here from the band. I I would say Mike and Tyson, but that well, just, you guys probably went through that uh, yeah. <laughs> a few times. So uh, we'll hear something else off the uh, All American Rejects uh, album, which is called the All American Rejects. We're going to hear Swing Swing, which uh, I'm happy about because uh, I really enjoy that song. I just did. Thank you. Rock. Yeah, did a real nice job on that one. Thank you, sir. Uh, but the whole album is good because uh, after the uh, band was in here, January, I think 26, Super Bowl night, we uh, figured out. First yep. night of uh, Jimmy Kimmel Live show, which uh, it's been off the air for some years now. I think. <laughs> so, uh, uh, no, going stronger than ever. Uh, we actually uh, may be on it tomorrow night, by the way. You maybe you star. Yeah, whenever a guest uh, drops, drops out. out, they uh, call me. But it's always sort of like, well, we're trying to get almost anybody, but <laughs> we still gonna need you kind of keep it cleared. And well, let me just say this too: uh, in life, is there's there's no there's no difference between somebody saying we we may need you for tomorrow night and actually doing it. It's the same amount. It's actually more in a weird way. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. You sort of you sort of you sort of walk You're around half cocked yeah. the whole day. Like I may be doing this, I may not be doing it. Better just to know that yes. you're doing it. Yeah. 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 All right. And then I got to get an outfit or something. And then you're pissed off if they don't go up because you've wasted your day. No, no. I'm always relieved when I get out of anything. Even no, if it's I know that, but I not, not when you've sort of devoted your day <laughs> no. to getting ready for it. Huh? No. Right. Who are you talking about? Me? No, I thought even that would bother you. No. Even you. Are you kidding? I hope everything falls apart so I don't have to do it. Yeah, no, I know <laughs> no that part. I know that part. But what if you've lost a day because you're getting dressed and running around and doing stuff? And Doesn't matter. I'm still I'm still not having to do what All I would right. was would have right. had to do. And what if you watch like the show that night and Andy Dick's on? Oh, and like homo. it's you're like it's <laughs> yeah, not me. He's on. Yeah. That's not going to be good for the self-esteem, man. Yeah. They get Andy. No, Andy Dick is actually going to co-host next week. <laughs> Funny you should bring uh, him up. Anyway, they so... They paid uh, me to say that. Maybe I'll be on tomorrow night, and uh, maybe I won't. 
we'll uh, get to the phones and speak to Sandy, who's 31. Sandy? Yes. Um, is this the doctor? Yes. I'm here. Okay. Um, I have a question for you. Um, I'm sorry. I'm a little upset about it. I've been married almost four years, and uh, I caught my husband masturbating in the bathroom at two different occasions. Mm -hmm. And he was saying a man's name and saying a lot of suggest, you know, nasty suggestions like and stuff. Does that mean, um, because you're all men, you know, Mike and Tyson are the young ones and you are the older um, does that mean, like, he's got <laughs> homosexual tendencies, or is he gay, or oh, is Hold he on just... a second. Put her okay. on hold a second. Liar! Yeah. Liar! What if, liar, what if the liar, name was whore, Chuck, you know like it. Charlie? That the, could the, be a chick's name. He comes out totally gay. I'm totally, totally bogus, this call. <laughs> yes. Not, not... She delivers it well. Yeah. yeah that's that some good quiver. That was good. That was, that was a shaking. <laughs> but m m that is not... How men masturbate? No, <laughs> nobody, nobody pipes up. They do. They do it in movies. Guys do not ver vocalize their masturbating at all. No. And to enter to catch him twice saying, actually saying anything during masturbation is like that's not a. That, if anything, yeah. it's like your moment of like leaving your body. Like yeah, you're, you're very harnessing sad. your chi. No, I mean, the, <laughs> you're only, just, if only anybody only interrupts you, that's chi. when you yeah. yell. Yeah, I mean, the only thing you ever say is, <laughs> close the door! Close the door! <laughs> it's not what it looks Does like. Does anybody have to it's knock not what, it, not yeah. what it looks like. Mom, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad at you! I'm so mad at you, Mom! Yeah, that, that is kind of what I do. Yeah, but that, that you, you wouldn't say anything sexual during masturbation, ever. Well, I do scream. Yeah, I do. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> and then I do the follow-up, which was, unless it looks like I'm not beating off. <laughs> in which case, it's exactly what it is. But by that time, I've, I've done about 11 more strokes, and I have the cat's out of the bag. So I'm, I'm intrigued. Let's, let's interview her a little more. All right. Uh, bogus. We're going bogus. <laughs> this is Sandy? not bogus. This is serious. Mm-hmm. Well, we just, we're having trouble believing it because it's not how a male behaves. Unless he was trying to. What was the name? Maybe he's trying to do something to you. Maybe he's trying to upset you in some way. No, it seems like he, he shut the door. I could hear him through the door saying a guy's name, and I didn't know what was going on. And then I opened the door, and he said, "Get out!" and was hollering at me. And then when I questioned him later about it, he was like, um, "Oh, you must have misunderstood. You know, I, I wasn't doing that." He said, "All right, uh, well, I'm listen. If he did it, he's he's responding to a hallucination." He's not masturbating. If he's talking to himself in the bathroom, it's not because he's having a sexual experience, it's because he's responding to internal stimuli. Does he do drugs? No, he doesn't do drugs, but I know okay. when we've had sex, you know, during intercourse and stuff, he does say, you know, oh, we do this, and I like this, you know. Yes, guys will actually, act, go, but guys' vocal cords will engage when they're with a partner, but when they're by themselves, they will not. They oh. don't do that. They do, normally, they do huh? not say Wh anything. Whisper quiet. They do oh. not say anything, and if he's saying a guy's name when he goes in the bathroom by himself, he's having a hallucination. Oh, well, wait I a minute. I'm quite serious. Oh. So, you, I mean, you don't think I have anything to worry about as far as being gay? Yeah, I do. I think you have some mental health issues here. <laughs> a hold mental on. health issue. Are you guys, well, I, I don't know if you're both. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Is she for real? Yeah, I think so. I think he's for real. I think she just needs to test him, have him, like, jerk off next to her Again, when they're in bed, and she let's can read a book. But let's see examine what she said. It's like I'm telling her he's hallucinating and responding. You know, to internal stimuli, and her thing is, oh, good, I don't have anything to worry about then. <laughs> it's like, no, well, wait a minute. She, she was yeah. coming as after as you. not gay. For, for offering, <laughs> yeah, right. Offering she want to know if you were for real or you were bogus. But for suggesting that him having a hallucination was a concern from a mental health standpoint. All right. Let me, uh, let me speak to uh, Sandy for just uh, <laughs> one second, second here. Straight. Sandy? Sandy? And she's gone. Oh, maybe she hung up. I, I can't I, I do think she was uh I do think she was bogus. Oh wait a second, let me try uh <laughs> try this again. No? Oh. She dropped off. She was yeah. hostile enough to be not bogus. Here's the thing. <laughs> she was here's the problem. Okay, here's here's the balance you have to strike. I know this because I, I do this crank anchor show and you have to strike this balance between being stupid enough to call and have whatever question you have but being smart enough to quickly articulate yourself and get your point across. She was a little too articulate when she was going. Y you know what I'm saying? And she sort of had some answers, and plus, she was talking about a problem that doesn't exist. Yeah. Pro she also, here's my only theory. I will sometimes shout out the name of my penis. 
<laughs> okay? <laughs> Which is a dude's name. Yeah. Well, it's you know Chuck. what I mean? Chuck? Chuck. Uh, Hi-ho, Silver. That's you gotta good. say it like Chuck, not Chuck. Chuck. Right. <laughs> You'll be like... You're like, come on, Chuck. You gotta come on, some... what do you got for me? you got to have something for me. Make it happen, Chuck. Let's go, Chuck. Let's go, buddy. Let's go for the trifecta. <laughs> We're going for the hat trick, Chuck. <laughs> right? Yeah, Drew, you talk to your penis sometimes, right? <laughs> Never? No. What about my penis? <laughs> I, I've, sp I've had to speak to it on a number of occasions. Yeah, man. You give it that time out. Uh... Yeah. Oh, my I can remember when Drew was speaking to my penis once. I had my head up against the door, and I was like, what's going on? I was trying to overhear, and I couldn't really make out what's going on, and then he caught me. Adam accused me of giving it a tongue lashing. <laughs> oh, Drew. <laughs> Drew told a joke, everybody. Uh, Don? Yeah? You're 22? Yep. What's okay, happening? I Hold on. I'm not done with our last call. <laughs> okay. All right, so if that call was, was real, real yeah. the caller yes. had some... some Inabilities emotionally and and Deep. psychologically and, was, and, and, and and intellectually, all fronts. Yeah, there was something all, going all on fronts, yeah. with her, and there was definitely something going on. But with remember, her man, th this yeah, she this is a, a guy who closes himself in the bathroom, starts talking to himself, and she immediately jumps to, "Well, he's gay." I mean, think of the think of the craziness there. That's, right. Okay. Here's the deal. Uh, if that was a real call, please, no kids. Oh yes. my God! Please, okay, then no please kidding. get your husband evaluated. None of you. What if it was a kid's name? Oh, oh, oh. yeah. I mean, oh no, no, that's bad. That's wrong. Right? I, that I mean, if it's a dude, I have a sick feeling. But if it's a chick, I mean, it's always wrong. It's just, it's more wrong if it's the dude. Here we go. If, the more wrong if it's, it's the sun. It's less hot if it's a dude. Yeah, it's less. It's less hot. Even though neither one's hot, it's not quite. You know, it's what's less going on, Don? What's hot. up, Don? Hey, how's it going, guys? You're 22. What's up? Um, well, I fell out of a tree at, like, the beginning of July because I was climbing a tree and I fell, like, 12 feet. I broke, I broke what? my spine and six ribs. Jesus. Oh, and sorry. You broke your spine and well, What do you mean you broke ribs? your spine? What, what exactly like, did you break? The T11, like, right in the top corner, I kind of broke a chunk of it off. On the and vertebral it, body or on the spine that comes out of it? Um, the actual vertebrae part. The, big, the body, the, the round part. Yeah, yeah that part. Okay. That up high? Um, T11? Yeah. It's yeah. up, up high? It, up here? Middle? Well, middle. middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lower like, middle. It's kind of in the middle. Like the T11, it's, if it's you know like where that's right, at, I don't know. T11? Middle, middle, lean forward. I'll show you where it is. <laughs> oh, come on, Touch buddy. It. It's right here. Well, that's low. It's lowish, yeah. You almost got one of my uh, stains from the, one of the zits from the... <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Caused nice. from the guys. Uh, <laughs> is it, now, what's up top? Are you in the 20s? No, no. It, it, it you, starts again, right? Cervical, and then you start at T, thoracic. Okay. Thoracic has okay. ribs. Okay. Retached ribs. Okay. Look, can we just do this? We start at one at the ass and work our way up to like 34 at the neck. No, it doesn't work like that. I, I, it could. I know. It, it could. Could. Because now everyone is like, oh, you're in a wheelchair. What are you? I'm a T. I'm a tweet T22. And everyone, no one knows what you're talking about. Oh, I'm a C. I'm a G. Just start the goddamn thing at one. And start at one at the neck and have it head down to what? 30, 28 or something? What do you got back there, Drew? At the ass. <laughs> well, it's a, it's well a, you just said pulls out the book. People yeah, go. There you go. Okay. Here's okay. Okay. Put so the number on there. Look, see, here's that see it, was, it goes to, from the skull here. Okay, the skull, through that's C7. number one. No, that's not C7, that's one. <laughs> no, no, that's one. That's one. Down through C7. No, no, just uh, one. About that's C1. One. No, 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 no. It's going to okay. be one. But let's say why it starts be one. again. Here, you start having ribs. Okay, so. okay. You know how we figure that out? Number eight? That's where the ribs start. <laughs> you see and what I'm saying? The ribs end, you start the lumbar down here. Doesn't matter. Ribs end at 22. <laughs> 16. Fair enough. We just do the math. It's just It starts at one, and that way when people talk about which one they broke, you know if it's up top or if it's down low. Uh -huh. If you hear a number like in the uh, high teens, you go, all right, ooh, that's right in the middle there. Well, anyway, so you got it. It's so easy. <laughs> that's how doctors keep the layman that's feeling right. dumb. That's oh, there's right. a lot of that. <laughs> so you chip the vertebral body. Okay, keep going. Okay, sorry. Sorry about I the technical stuff, but I, I don't know. I broke some ribs. Okay, so I, I started going, I, I went a month without going to the doctor because I've never broken anything before. I, I just thought I hurt my, my muscles or something. So yeah. I finally go to the doctor. They're like, yeah, you broke, you know, your, your spine. And then I went to a specialist, and he's like, yeah, you broke, like, six ribs, too. And he didn't really do anything for me. He's like, well, we'll see if it heals up. And it's been, like, four months, and he hasn't done anything for me. So finally, there isn't really anything to Don, there's nothing really well, to what do. What do you want him to do? Really? Well, I'm yeah. thinking about surgery because I can't, like, I can't even twist all the way around, and I just have 
I have so much pain, like right, like in my lower back, even in like the particular the vertebrae that's broken. Just in he, general, he, in general principles, in general, surgery is not a good intervention for pain. Wait till you get it a just hunch. in just especially in the spine, it can make things worse. Really, it's about as likely to make things worse as better. See, that's why I was, I was I'm kind of afraid of it. And but he gave me a shot the other day, and I'm not really sure what he did, but it agitated it so bad, and it hurt. Well, this is a very this is a very complicated problem. Did he offer you some physical therapy or? No, he didn't. And I asked him about it. I'm like, do I need to go to physical therapy or is there any like, can I do anything? And he no, maybe he just, just saw your pain in the ass and kind of wanted you to go away. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. No, no. I, I just think I there, may, do. there may just not be much else to <laughs> do with him, but more time. These are, these are these are these these kinds of fractures take a long time and to heal. Yeah, with really? with cracked ribs especially, for, you, just, you just let them. You just try not to laugh for six months. <laughs> exactly I mean, nobody, right. you, there's nothing you can do That's about exactly that. Exactly. Right. Everybody. Yeah, well, my my ribs are all healed up and everything. It's just just that one part of my spine is just not feeling any better. They, they may need to do a little more evaluation to make sure that it's in fact the fracture that's causing you the pain. Maybe there's something else going on with one of the discs or something. They, they need to no, you know, keep going back. What were yeah. you doing in the tree, by the way? Just because oh, no. it's going to be funny. I, I got. I okay. I'm from Arizona, and we don't have like a lot of trees out there. We have flat land and cacti and stuff. So right. we went so up to the mountains, and I'm all, "Hey, I want to climb the tree." And I'm a dumbass, and I was climbing the tree, and it was a dead tree, and I didn't know it was dead. And so <laughs> the branches broke like 12 feet up, and I fell and landed on my back. Oh, Ooh. were people laughing at first? <laughs> No, I was laughing after I could breathe, after I could start, oh. when I could catch my breath. It was pretty yeah. funny, but. All right. Well, yeah, sounds very For future, there's no leaves. Don't climb it. Oh, yeah. It's a good, good call. <laughs> and, you know, it's dead, though. It is always funnier if the branch breaks off. <laughs> and it's super funny if you're still hanging on to the broken <laughs> branch when you hit the ground. Especially, Especially if you land back. on your back. Yeah. yeah. It's like you're still, still clinging to the branch. <laughs> That's good. That's where the broken ribs come in. That's right. But uh, there ain't nothing you can do about that. And and by the way, everyone will you'll notice uh, people getting you into bear hugs and coming up behind you and grabbing you and yeah. stuff. Whenever you got you running your back or ribs are screwed up, people, you need to get it. You know what, Drew? Suck it up. I see hot. You got to get a uh, windbreaker that says uh, back off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you, I I, I could remember in uh, when I played football, I'd always screw my back up, and you never knew. How often people just came up behind you in a hallway at school or whatever and kind of just put their arm, got you in a bear hug or pushed you or did whatever it was that screwed with you. It's so interesting, though, how people believe that every biological problem should be completely solvable. And if it's not, it's got to be the doctor's fault. <laughs> that is very frustrating. These are complicated, and a lot of it can't be changed just the way it is. Yeah. Well, well listen. Chiropractor or something. Fell out of a tree. Oh. You're screwed up. Yeah. That's all right. Suck it up. I do believe, though, a lot of... A lot of the people that calls with the beefs about the doctors always sound like a pain in the ass. I do believe the doctors want them to go away. Yes. But if they could do anything for them, they would because yeah. that makes but them go away. They're probably away. feeling like, I'm going to give a, uh, I'll give them so the mercy that's you killing. Look at it. I'll give them the mercy killing. No, no, yeah. No. Yeah. Put a shot, put some, uh, put some oxygen in their, uh, in their blood vessels, put a bubble in there. That kills them, Drew. I've seen the movies. Yeah. Nicole? Oh, Doesn't do that, by I the way. <laughs> It does in the movies. I know the movies. You, you got to inject just a little bit of oxygen <laughs> yeah. into that blood. Right to the brain. Pow, right to the brain. Mm -hmm. Gone. That's what they tell me. It's crazy. It doesn't happen. No? 15 seconds. That's all it takes. No. Less. <laughs> True. Wait a minute. If I took a syringe that had no liquid in it, just a, air, just air I put, po popped it if, into the a vein. The only way it would be a problem is if you had a central vein, a, vein, a, a central catheter going no, right into the right nothing atrium. Nothing into the arm. It really doesn't seem to do anything. But, right, but the, I'm going to do one that. Of those. We're going to do but, that. But I, <laughs> I've been involved once where some air got into the a central vein. It's like having an embolus of the lung, and that does cause problems. All right. Yeah. It's like uh, getting it in a brake system. Screws yeah, it up. Yeah. we got to bleed it. Nicole? <laughs> I was just wondering how the only just deals with their crazy-ass veins. What? Crazy ass fans. How do they deal with it? Yeah. Oh. How do you guys deal with the crazy ass fans? You just say, hey, crazy ass fans. Back get the off. hell away. <laughs> we close the curtains and back off. They wear back off the windbreaker. <laughs> you got my right. back off? Yeah. Nice. All right, Nicole. <laughs> Problem solved. Nicole. Yeah. Was oh. that not satisfying? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Oh, boy. Right, there, there's right. that beat. Get hey. that beat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry. I'm not Nicole, but I wanted to say how much I love the All American Rejects. You guys rock. Okay, all right. Sorry. All right. So she Take was confused. Care. You got school tomorrow, honey? No, it's no. okay. 
No, she doesn't go to school no more. No more. <laughs> no, I don't go to school no more. No, she doesn't need it. Whatever. <laughs> Let's hear a song. Yeah. Should we do that? Good. Mm-hmm. It'll cheer her up. Mm-hmm. This one is, uh, this is one I requested. Because I know what the kids like. Of the request line. This is uh, from the All-American Rejects off the uh, album of the same name. And this one is called Swing Swing. Uh, it's the All-American Rejects. A very rare UK <laughs> remix <laughs> of the Hey Anderson <laughs> Swing the Swing. The Hey Anderson remix yeah. by Dr. Drew. Sweet. DJ Drew. Yeah. Sweet. It's good, huh? Yeah, I don't know. When did you lay that down? Oh, we, are you guys working together? Just, I just after they were out here in January. It took about a week. Oh, really? We, we actually did it during the premiere of the Jimmy Kimmel show. Oh, really? <laughs> I was wondering where Drew, you were late that entire week. You guys were working on that, huh? <laughs> that was tough. That's nice. Yeah. One line makes a difference. Sweet. Yeah, and, and well placed, too. <laughs> right at the uh, crucial 243. The, we, up we tried it. the yeah, upbeat of measure 243. We yeah. tried it in various other parts of the song. Didn't, 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 didn't work as well. It was sweet. 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 Okay, <laughs> nice. All right, you can look forward to that happening again, too, by the way. There's <laughs> other going to be other songs that have that, too. Or Estra? <laughs> mm-hmm. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll uh, take a quick break. All American Rejects in studio tonight. We'll be right back. <clears throat> hey, yo, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew, Tyson, and Mike, both here from the All American yo. Rejects. Yo. Uh, All American Rejects, name of the CD as well. This close to going platinum. This close. Just a hair. Yeah, we could send Just it over the here. send it over the top tonight. <laughs> I tell you something. I, I you know I've we've been hearing about record sales for years on this show, and now that I've tried to sell fifty thousand books, yeah, it, selling five hundred thousand records, they, uh, CD is unbelievable. Yeah, this is eight hundred and twenty-two uh, thousand million. It's unbelievable. It's yeah, really it's quite a task. We figured out gold is five hundred thousand. No, we haven't figured anything out yet. That's right. Yeah, oh that's yes, right. it's five hundred thousand. And then so uh, a million, million, million? Platinum. Yeah, platinum. That's right. And then it changes like. Depending on what the populace is, like it's less in Canada. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. fifty thousand is gold in Canada. Cause really? Just because so of the population? Well, they're huh? spread 50, out. Fifty thousand. Yeah, it's yeah. tough to get mail yeah. to them. Mm-hmm. No, it's cool. Yeah. Is it fifty or is it a hundred? I think it's fifty. Or wait, is that is England? It, that's a hundred. Is think. it only fifty in Canada? 50, it's actually just fifty. <laughs> fifty records. Oh, it's just fifty. 50 straight right. fifty. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like, wow. Your gold in Canada, and they give you a big p- piece of paper that says gold. Yeah. That's why that G- Gordon Lightfoot was... Uh, it's bold <laughs> font. He was star on him because he sold, he sold 80 records. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's... Uh, David Hasselhoff. Oh, he is so Jesus. big. He is, is he big in Canada, too, or is this no, just no. Germany? Just Germany? I tell yeah, you, no, he can entertain. Awful. He's a master entertainer. He's a showman is what he is. <laughs> the man had lights... On his jacket for the fall of the Berlin Wall. That's all I gotta say. He's a master showman. He showman knows show. what to do. Yep. Remember when we uh, somebody that yes. uh, big homo Tom <laughs> I knew Shale, you'd bring that up. He uh, reviewed <laughs> reviewed the Man Show. And he, I don't know. We reviewed something I was in. I think it was the Man, man Show. show yeah. and he was uh, complaining that I uh, lacked showmanship. Yes. And I thought, what a fag. <laughs> that is total fag speak. <laughs> It's it's almost it's it's really as faggy as calling something marvelous or marv. You know, <laughs> the idea like I didn't know if this guy was a big fat homo or not, but when he said I lacked showmanship, I thought yes, there is a big pole smoking homo. It all came it all came home to roost. Who the Germans love? No, no, you got it, you got him. Yeah. Got oh, oh, you just hung up on. Oh, him. who cares? It calls her oh. dime a dozen. <laughs> True, just hung up on the next guy. Ten. ten, ten Hello. Yes. What's your name? My name is Ken. Kim. Kim. Okay, yes. Kim. I said Ken. I thought it? so too. What's happening, Kim? Where are you calling from, Kim? Indiana. And uh, how old are you? I'm 21. What's your problem? Well, me and my friend, we just have this pool we take sometimes, and I was wanting all of you guys to take it. We were wondering whether you prefer two tongue rings or no gag reflex when receiving oral pleasure. Hmm. Take like a tongue ring and a half and just a <laughs> sprinkling of gag reflex. What do you I've guys? I've never been with a girl with a tongue ring. Yeah, me neither. It doesn't. So, yeah, you, yeah. You're wasting your time. <laughs> you are it, it, these ladies because if if you if the if you are good enough to have oral sex with these guys, they're happy. Right. Period. <laughs> Period. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do well, not try to do anything it's fancy. Just an honest poll. Yeah. Just, it's might as well just. Might as yeah, well just. Play you the know. Poll. Just yeah, but I, I, I do agree. They act like we're going to the uh, BJ 
store, yeah. and, and you guys are waiting in the car. What do you guys need? You want a couple of tongue rings and a gag reflex? What can I do you for? You guys cool? I'm going to get chicks uh, sucking on some mentholatum. You want that? I'll just bring them. I'll buy the variety pack and bring it out like they're yeah. trying to move product. Right. Who wants yeah. ice cubes? No. I yeah, like hot when the balls get attention. No. That oh, really? Be the, you like that? Yes. <laughs> that should be the, the part of the survey. Really? Yes. What? Gag yeah. reflex on the balls? Again. Why don't you work the balls in? Yes, Kim. Again. again, the guys are going to be just happy that you're there. That's yeah. it. Period. Answer. Period. I like a little gag reflex. <laughs> Thank shit. God he said it. Just because I want them to... Well, I, I, I like the idea of them suffering just a little bit. But the other, <laughs> other, other, that's me. It's, it's a size issue. It's you. a size yeah. issue. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like I want, you know, like I want when we're having sex, I like to slow down. You know, I like to, I like to, I like to take it easy. You know, I like a little of that. You're hurting me. Yeah. I like that. You know what I'm saying? You guys like to not, hurt not, women a little bit. Yeah, not, no, just I just I don't want I don't you know I don't like this one. Are you in? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So That's a slap in the face uh, right there. <laughs> that is a sl- yeah. Oh, still not over that. Still not <laughs> over that, Drew. Shane. Yeah. Yeah, Drew. Ever no? Oh. Shane, you got kids back there? Uh, no, I'm in the dorm room. Uh, oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. Righteous. You have a uh, Germany or Florida for us? Yeah, I do. All right. Um, this 19-year-old guy um, was with his friends um, and talking, and he turned around abruptly, and he walked into a radio antenna of his car, mm-hmm. and uh, the antenna went up his nose almost four inches, pierced his sinuses, and entered his brain, coming to rest in his pituitary gland. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good delivery. Right now. That, that I, by the way, is not that. That is like when the this is this is the kind of ER speak people have. Right, a guy come, has a bowling pin up his ass and he says he tripped and he landed on, on it. it. Exactly, yeah. precisely. Right, the, the aerial antenna off a car halfway into your cere- cerebral cortex. Yeah, that's well, somebody crammed I, it up there. Well, why? What do you think he did? It, he was was high and no, did no, it. No, I think when people get in like gang battles and stuff like that, they're like, "This is no, like they don't put yeah. car antennas up are, your nose." Did the static oh, the like ass? arouse him? Yeah. Since it is pituitary. All right, let, let's say Germany or Florida. Germany. You say Germany. Yeah, I'm kind Florida. of Germany too. I just want to say because that's why. I don't think is many have car antennas out here. I don't think they have as many in Germany. Oh, I think is that they have right? Less okay. in Germany. Okay. All right. Let's just go. I said Florida, and everybody else is Germany. What, what about you? Said you said kind of you said Germany. Let's just go Germany because we haven't had Germany in a while. It's right. getting too easy with this Florida all Watch the time. It. All right. Yeah. Germany, Germany, Shane. It's actually Florida. Oh. <laughs> we can't have. What does what, that mean? What did you say? What does that mean? <laughs> Cut of beef. No, I want to know what that means. <laughs> what does that it's, mean? What's one Was of it you? Buddy's name. <laughs> what does that mean? What are you tuning into, buddy? Shane. Uh, Shane hung up. Basically, wow. I cut it. It's gone. He made the story up. Probably is what that is. Mm. No. That was a good story, though. No, that, that that could happen. I just, I, you know, I think, uh, I think the cars in Germany have the antenna built into the windshield more so than uh, hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just trying. BMW, to Porsche. Yeah. Think about it. Audi. You don't see anything. Check on his there, lingo. Do you? Just think about the anatomy. I think to get to the pituitary, you have to go through here, not through here. Not through the nose. True. Oh, Again, whatever. spectacular radio sure. pointing at places <laughs> on his face. Whatever. Never, never gets old for him. Never gets old. All right. I would argue that's a certain kind of stupid, Drew. Brian? Hey. You're 21? I am. What's up? Uh, you want to know my question? Sure. Drew's looking at his book. You can get there, Drew? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. No, I was just wondering why I've never had a wet dream. Smoke a little too much pot. <laughs> no, never. Do you? I haven't you don't smoked sp- pot for four years. Four been, years? Just... In Utah, I've been in Utah five years. I'm a Mormon, and... Yeah. Hate the religion, but that's why I'm moving to Arizona to party with to get away from it all. But you were smoking for a while there, right? (laughs) Actually, I wasn't. You weren't. Hmm. That's the funny thing. What about uh, hey? Are you? What do you Mormons do for uh, Halloween? Yeah, you able to do anything? (laughs) You just have to sit home. Come on. Uh, The funny. It's snowing up here right now, but the funny thing last year they actually had Halloween on like a different day. It was crazy. How do they do that? What do you mean they had it on a different day? How is that possible? They, like, had it in the daytime so kids wouldn't get, like, hurt and stuff. Yeah, but it was still the Halloween. Yeah, but are are Mormons cool with that? The whole Halloween Halloween, yeah. You are? Yeah. (laughs) 
Okay. You know what's I, funny is every time a kid would come before dark to our house, it was like he was dressed up as Moses oh. or Paul. <laughs> like oh, there's really? a biblical biblical figure. Yeah, it amazing. it's interesting. I didn't know. See, I know certain religions aren't down with Halloween. They think it's a pagan thing mm-hmm. where people are like worshiping the devil and fire and stuff, and they get all oh, weird yeah. about it. It's just candy. But I figured, uh, <laughs> I figured Mormons would be one of those groups. What do you think it is? Jehovah. Jehovah's Witness ain't into anything, right? right? They don't right. give presents. That's right. I think my parents may have been Jehovah's Witness without even knowing it. <laughs> Is that possible? They're, they would be a good case study. Yeah. To see if it's possible. Yeah. Never celebrate anything. Yeah. Never gave any good gifts. Yeah. Could have been, right? Yeah. Maybe that's their thing. I had no idea. I should learn to respect that religion. No, no. Let's, let's answer Brian's question here. What was his question? <laughs> oh, his wet dream question? Yeah. Brian? I, was, I was wondering, well, I'm also diagnosed borderline personality disorder, which is yeah. like a woman's disease. Well, yeah, but you could have a dream about a chick. No, 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 no. It it means that he, you have to really been a trauma survivor to get a borderline diagnosis in a male, right? Yeah, and I I don't, I don't know. Was it sexual abuse? I think I may have been raped because I have perfect, perfect um, teeth marks on whatever my penis. I don't even know if you can say the other word on the, whatever radio and all. Wow. But I asked the doctor right before I went into the Air Force, uh, what are these marks on my penis? And he's like, those are teeth marks, so. Perfect teeth. No, they're not. <laughs> they are. You should take a look at them. Man. You Mormon? I would like Dude, to sounds see Sounds right. <laughs> well, whatever, Dude, Brian. those are teeth. But having a borderline personality is a pretty serious diagnosis for a male, particularly. Oh, wait and a minute. that means maybe some trauma, <laughs> and it also means you've been on medication for a long time, oh. and that will affect your sexual functioning. And trauma will affect it, and maybe you're, com- my are you're compulsive. My doctor says no medication oh, yeah. works. He says what? That no medication will work. For borderline? Mm-hmm. No medication will work well, that's true. Really? They, they're all on medicine because they're trying to get some How kind about of a little medicine. aloe to get rid of those The scar, parts. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he doesn't look down at that every time. No, How vit- often vitamin do you e. please yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you do that How every often? day, it's going to... Uh, I'm yeah. going to say about two or three times a day. Well, well that's why you know. Yeah. Even though it's strongly... A- not advised in my family and once you drain the bean bags there's nothing to come out when you're sleeping that's right that's what the doctor always says <laughs> the funny thing is i mean i can't look at porn when i do but my dad's an emergency room doctor and he just lost his job for looking at porn at work when he has three computers at home really yeah well, you, you sound that's kinda, a good fact you sound kind of giddy about the whole thing <laughs> Yeah, maybe he'll lose the mortgage and won't be able to pay it, and you guys will be out on the street. He lives in a one point five million dollar house now, and he's losing it too. So, hey, but by yeah, the he way, yells uh, at me. he yells at me. Okay, buddy, like, hold on a second. <laughs> Whoa, let's. Uh, I thought you were just talking about a wet dream, man. Hold on one second. Jeez. See, we had to get back to him, didn't we, Trump? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Brian's got a, some uh, stuff going some on. Energy. Some that energy. Exploded. That's borderline personality. I would love to get to the bottom of the teeth marks on the joint, Drew. <laughs> well, at least uh, the bottom teeth. So I, they're I, perfect, I'd too. like to find out, really. And by the way, is there ever a perfect teeth mark? set of teeth marks on your dork? I would argue never. <laughs> no. like, nothing perfect about that scenario. Just the little teeth. Brian. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's uh, try to focus for just one moment, please. Okay? Okay. The, uh, there's teeth marks on your penis. I'll take a picture of it and send okay. it to you. Okay, that's cool. Just focus. If you, if you go to Salt Lake City, <laughs> focus, Brian, focus, Brian, focus, Brian. focus, focus. Sorry. Okay. You don't want to take a picture of it. I actually, I would like. I know it sounds redundant. Let's focus on the word focus for just one moment. <laughs> Could we do that? Yeah, that's what my therapist said too. Okay, so you focused on focus. Yes. Okay, now the teeth marks are scars. True. True. Yes, they are. Good focus. Good focus. I'm focused. How deep are they? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, what? Which direction do they go? Are they Circ- sideways? Circumferential. Yeah. Well, sideways. let's say your penis was a, was a sub sandwich. <laughs> so okay. Took a bite out of the well, side of the sandwich or the end of the sandwich. Focus. They're like right underneath the head, straight across. Like somebody took a bite out of the end of the subway sandwich. From left to right. Like they just wanted to get oh, the hold peppers. Hold on a second. Uh, it's one of, one, of, one of the beauty, one, one of the uh, cornerstones of everyone that calls this show is you try to, you use every ounce of brain you have to lay out a very simple sort of yes visual no. explanation of something, and they always go <laughs> another direction. So if your penis was a sub-sandwich, 
would the bite be out of the end, out of the tip, or out of the side of it? That go from left to right. Across the end of it. <laughs> Across the end of it. <laughs> Hamburger or hot dog? No, no, not, yeah, not, not bad. No, sort of, but yeah, no, they no. They screw that up. They screw that they up. Screw yeah. that Love that up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's not bad. It's not bad at all. <laughs> Brian. Just like he took a bite of my penis. At the tip? At the tip. He? Uh, he took hey, a bite? You know it's a he? You know. How do you know well, it's a he? I think it was a female, but I don't know. I've, I've known it ever since. I why did you why remember. did you say why did you say he if you thought it was a female? I don't know who it was, so I'm confused, I guess. Okay. And uh, it's on it's just on the uh nad side of the head. Yeah. Yes. Right under it. And on, the, the, right under it, but not no, on, on top. On top. Around, all the way around. Yeah, like he took just on top. Right. Sorry. All the way around. Just get a tattoo over Hold on. Then. It it's either it's first it's just under the head. <laughs> then it's on top, and that's it. Where is it all the way around? Is it on the top and the bottom? It's just on the top, the front teeth, the front just, three teeth. Ju just okay. on the top. Okay. Does it look like a straw after you bite it all oh, up? Oh, I see. When like... he said just under it, he meant. Yeah, of course. No, it's yeah, just like one bite. Are you a Mormon? Mm. I am. Yes, thanks, Joe. All right. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, uh, <laughs> the, uh, okay. This is a horrible thing. So let's. <laughs> Go ahead. Brian, look, here's the deal. I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad you're happy about your dad being dismissed from the hospital. Uh, you need to, there's no, medications aren't going to help him? Stay in therapy. Therapy? Stay in therapy. And then what about this, Drew? What about diet? What about exercise? What about meditation? Structure. What, All about, good. what about, you know, classical music and long All good. walks? All good. All, All good. All good. Yeah. Oh, stay, right out of, stay out of relationships for a while. What's, they, what's, they what's bad? Strobe lights and, and, and <laughs> house music? E? Speed, see. strobe lights, and, and like n raves? Bad, bad. Bad. Long walks and... Good. Uh, Classical right? music. Classical good. music. Good. Tchaikovsky? Just don't All look right. down, man. All right. We'll take a quick break. All American Rejects is here. We'll be right back. Buddy, it's Love Line. I'm Adam, Dr. Crew. I uh, got a uh, little emergency page from the uh, hospital. He's returning a call. We there got, are uh, bite marks on somebody. <laughs> Tyson and Mike are uh, both here from the All-American Rejects. Jack Black and the uh, Taris in here, amongst others, uh, next week. Drew? Yeah. All right. Bianca Kalich, also next week. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I thought I'd see if anybody knew who that is. That's good. Bianca. True, don't Rock do that. Man. How many times have we ever done it? We do that. Drew, how many times have we had Jason that discussion? Jason Bateman? No way. He was here a couple nights ago. True. That's intense. Don't do that. Don't always really talk <laughs> so about gotta, that. You got to... What, what about... Hey, here's, here's, here's what happens every time. Here's it every time. Okay. And now it's going to get ugly, but... Uh, we, we, got some, we got some names that come in on this show, and then we got some people that aren't names. And, uh, you know, next week we got uh, Jack Black. That's a name. It's a good name. We have the Ataris. That's there a good band. Go. People know that band. And then we have uh, Bianca Kalich. <laughs> From uh, Rock Me Baby, uh, it's coming in about 113 out of 117 over on the uh, UPN show over there. Now, here's what Drew does because his instincts are uh, horrible. I think he's passive aggressive, but I don't know. He could. It may just be pure stupidity. I'll always. I'll. I'll uh, go ahead and uh, plug the couple of names you know, and then say amongst others. And uh, Drew will always stop and mention the name of the person that I didn't want to mention. But you remember. And I, then we got to get an explanation. The, the, the problem of it. is. You don't know anything. Then shut up. That's right. That's all that's you right. got to know. No, that's right. You're right. All you got to know is you're looking at a name up there. You don't know what it is, right? Yep. Do you know Jack Black? Yeah. Yes, you do. You've heard of the Ataris? Yeah. All I'm right. actually good friends but, with Contribute. But just because I don't yeah. know the other name doesn't uh, mean anything. Uh, uh, yeah. But you didn't hear me mention it, right. did you? That's right. That's your cue, buddy. All right. All I right. think the man I saw a knows. commercial for that. So Dan Cortez. Dan Cortez. Yikes. Didn't he do sports? MTV Sports. And he's, and he's going by Dan Cortese now or oh. something <laughs> oh, like that. And by the way, you shoot. can't change your name midstream. midstream. Just doesn't work. I know. I tried with the Ace Rock Cola. Remember that? Prince did it, man. It just mistake. didn't work. Just Prince never did, worked. Yeah, Prince. He we, did it. Prince. We, he that's what we call him Don't Prince. Don't even say there's nothing. <laughs> that's that's what we call him rule. Prince. Oh. Yeah. No, if it was working, you'd go, mm, did it. <laughs> yeah, right. Corey? Yep. You're uh, 15? Yeah. 
Um, by the way, I know he's never going to do the show, and he doesn't care, and he doesn't listen to the show. But I got to be one of the only people that absolutely hates Prince. I hate, I, I hate him. I think he's just oh, a pompous, man. arrogant, self-centered uh, piece of ass. And I hate his music. Well, the it name, bothers me. But the ladies things. love him. The so ladies, the ladies and he can love wail Prince. on the guitar. Go back and listen to uh, some of that uh, Prince stuff, and it does not stand up very well. It just, it just. It just bothers me. By the way, you can buy Prince's greatest hits. Uh, it just um, bothers me. I can't sweet. stand Prince, and I hate his music. Here we go, Corey. Fifteen. Yeah, I got a uh, uh, Florida Germany for you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, an army a general from the army leaves the army, gets work in a hospital. They falls in love with a girl who dies. He raids her tomb, digs up her body, rebuilds her genital organs, and this Germany, 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 Germany. Yeah, uh, Could German. you tell that a little more creepily? <laughs> <laughs> How does he rebuild his her genital organs? He was a doctor. He's a, I don't know. I don't know yeah. that he's You're a doctor. You said she was a, he was a general or something. He was an Dr. army general, but he left army. the army and work in a hospital. Doctor. True. You could you could whip up a quick snatch <laughs> if you uh, if, like got a sewing kit, a lampshade. Well, speaking of quick snatch yeah. and kit, we were, we were discussing creating something like that, a quick snatch kit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, I'm going. Uh, this is Germany. Yeah, I got to go Germany. Likewise, Florida. Corey. Uh, it's a German general in a Florida hospital. Oh, Ooh. Germany. It's Germany. It's Your Germany. Glory That's tough. tough. God, tough. Man, I, I think he, <laughs> I think he technically heaven. may uh, German may have us. Yeah, yeah? yeah. Florida. Well, and you I know the guy's Florida. German. Yeah. Yeah, because because this is the work of a German, by the way. <laughs> F- Floridians. Too stupid to reconstruct anything. Like they couldn't build like a uh, cabin out of popsicle sticks, much le- much less a vagina. Am I right, Drew? Triangle, of course. Okay. Let's. Uh, but I, I I do think that is that's out of Florida. The story's out of Florida. We're uh, with a German wrong. tie. Dave. Yeah, how's it going? <clears throat> You're uh, 19. What's up? I am. Um, I had a question. Uh, basically, I've never had sex but I've gotten far too many blowjobs for my own good, if that's possible. And basically I was wondering if I was at the risk of any, like, or basically what I was at the risk of, because I have friends always telling me, like, blah, 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 you're going to have this, you're going to have that, and it's kind of scary. Well, probably. Like oral sex? Well, you can get the same STDs from oral sex that you can get from well, did, genital intercourse. Did, did these dudes have diseases? <laughs> oh, what a dick, dude. <laughs> Definitely not dudes. Oh, not dudes? Definitely not, dude. I'm confused now. Animals. Now you're, yeah, you're, you're fine. <coughs> All right. I mean, you, you get the, here, but, no. Here's the thing, <laughs> Drew. Yeah. The, the the party line is you can get the same thing you can get through intercourse, but as a guy who's receiving, it's less like much well, less for for the viral stuff. But you, but syphilis, no problem. Gonorrhea, no, no problem. problem. Chlamydia, no, no problem. problem. Same if, intercourse if, if they've got it on in their in their throat. Well, do, do you get syphilis and mm-hmm. gonorrhea sure. in your throat? Absolutely. Where do you normally get it? In the crotch area? You get it wherever the contact is. Mm-hmm. If I'm if I'm going to build myself a vagina, yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't build that it's in. The snatch kit? I use a snatch kit. I do not build the gonorrhea in. That's an option. <laughs> or you you could have it sort of little stick-on STDs so you learn to identify them in the real thing. You know? Interesting. The snatch kit. Interesting. Uh, the disease snatch kit. Interesting. Like little post-it warts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the guys who put the uh, gunshot stickers on their uh, motorcycle <laughs> helmets and gas tanks. That, that's nice. Suggests that you've been shot at. Uh, it's a good look. And, you know, anyone who has a car that's been riddled with bullets knows uh, how much more it'll bring on the open market. And how tough they are. It's a nice shot. Yeah. 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 We're I'll, done. Oh, we're done? Can't go to her. Oh. No. I'll tell you, Biggie Smalls, boy. I'll tell you, he, he, he had one of those cars that had to... Oh, maybe that's a real bullet hole. i got to look into that, Drew. It's a good look, any way you uh, look at it. All right, we're going to take ourselves a quick break. All-American Rejects in studio. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Well, that's the show. Uh, uh, next week, Jack Black, the Ataris, and who, Drew? Others. I'm not allowed to say. Oh, go ahead, buddy. Come but on. I will remind you that... Uh, <laughs> You didn't mention All American Rejects when you reviewed what was coming up this week. How dare you? Oh, 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 oh. get well, him, guys! Go get him. Well, too bad it's at the end of the well, dude, hour. Now we can talk Jason about this. Bateman. Drew, first off, <laughs> just teasing. Thank you. And secondly, <laughs> I plugged the All American Rejects. Yeah, probably of course 10 times. you did. Of course you did. Well, the band believes you. Don't All do right. that. It's good. Well, we right. believe you, Adam. 
No, we're cool, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a boxer, man. Yeah, look out. <laughs> You guys are drunk. I'd probably take both of you. Yeah. All right. Uh, all American Rejects, All American Rejects. MCD. Thanks a lot, guys. I want to thank, thank uh, Tara Don't Call My Tar Goddamn for doing the phones uh, theoretically all week. I want to thank Brian for doing a great job on the phones. Skinny Mini Brian for doing a great job on the phones. I want to thank uh, Chris, engineer uh, on location, for doing a great job. Junior, 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 producer Lauren for doing a uh, wonderful weenie, do- weenie dog type uh, job on the show this week. And uh, I want to thank uh, producer Ann for uh, booking big names like... This is worse than Sinatra. The All-American Rejects and Jack Black, <laughs> so on and so on and so forth. And, of course, the Magic Finger ones, one oh. engineer, Anderson. She's writing something else. So, until next time... Oh, yeah, yeah, we have uh, Adrian from um, No Doubt coming in here oh, along yeah. with uh, nice. What's Her Nose from uh, Bow Wow Wow. Yeah, big time. She's Bell. still around? Yep. So, until next time, this is Adam Crow for Dr. Drew saying... Mahalo. Let's go, buddy. Let's go for the trifecta. (laughs) We're going for the hat trick, Chuck. This has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Engold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.